Charlie, John Witherspoon, Corey Holcomb, King Bach. You got all these guys. Just when it comes to when the cameras say cut, is it just as funny as, or let me just say the outtakes that people don't see. They could have ran them cameras all day, man. <laughs> we could we could have, if you would have ran the cameras the whole season one through, you would have had about four seasons out of season on. one. So Adult Swim, they green light Black Jesus. Yeah. Um, you had did a, you had did a, um, you had did a skit Black Jesus prior to doing Black Jesus, I'm assuming, correct? Yeah, uh, that was, the Black Jesus sketches were a part of a project that Aaron was doing called the Super Rumble Mix Show, which was uh, a series, a sketch series. It was Black Jesus, it was Tube Steak, it was Ask John Witherspoon, it was Negro News. He, it was it was several sketches in which he made an internet show and he dropped them on YouTube. And I think through his relationship, now again, this is me speculating right now. I believe that through his relationship with Adult Swim, you know, they've kind of probably been talking, they've been paying yeah. attention, you know, fostering this, this, this project. And, you know, Black Jesus was one of the standout sketches on that, on that, um, on that project. And, you know, I think uh, Adult Swim took notice and, you know, they did what they wanted to do. Now, uh, before it even gets to air, before y'all start shooting, how, just for you personally, you know, like you said, you have dark humor, but how blasphemous <laughs> do you feel like this show is about to be just based on the opening scene? You reading the, you reading the opening scene, uh, I believe Aaron and Mike is the writers. Uh, you're you're a co-producer on it, so you're, you know, you're, y'all putting it together. But just the opening just scene and just the, how blasphemous do you feel like this show was about to be? And <laughs> how did you feel like it's about to be received? Oh, I didn't, I didn't you know, honestly, man, I, I'm only thinking for myself. So I didn't think blasphemy at all. That was, that. that's, you know, again, I, honestly, I gave it, I, I really feel like God, God put me in position to do it. Oh, yeah. He, he you know, I was, I, I was the man to do it. And then, and, and, and that was God said that. That wasn't me. So I, I don't see any blasphemy in it. I look at God and and Jesus. You know, I look at my, I'm considering myself a spiritual person in, in, in terms of what is you Muslim, is you God, he there. Well, it's the same one for everybody. So I, so I say that to say, I look at our, our higher power like a parent. You know, he know we fuck up. You know, we mock our parents. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, again, I, I'm not necessarily mock in a bad way. Imitate. Yeah. You've imitated your father the way he talked or imitated your mama some time clowning. And I think he he look at the same way. And sometimes I believe he smiles. You know, I believe that God is is, is has the best sense of humor because if he didn't, he wouldn't give it to us. If he didn't have the best sense of humor, the world wouldn't be like, like it is right now. Exactly. Man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty fucking interested in the world right now. So I believe that God is is the ultimate joker. Can I ask you, uh, what did your what did your mom think about it when you told her, yeah, hey, you know, I just got to, you know, I just got it, you know, Black Jesus, I got the role, we got to start kicking off season one. Uh, what did your mom say? My mom said, get that money, son. <laughs> My mom encouraged me, man. And, you know, again, I, I kind of take people to back when I say that because I have a, a very re- s- real Southern religious mother, you know what I mean? And But, you know, my mother sees it for what it is. She knows me. She knows my heart. And she's confident in me. So she said, do that shit. And she was, my mom was in Black Jesus. I had mom in about three episodes. Oh, man. What, look what, for Yeah, what she was? She, she was in the crowd or something? Or look what? for Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I gotta look for her. Gotta look for her. Look for her. Yeah. My mom in there three times. My mom in about three episodes. Look okay, okay. <laughs> so I'll do it like this because for those who either didn't watch it or watch a little bit of it, it is one of the most sleeper hit comedies of, of our generation. Uh, very <laughs> well written, very funny. Um, when it came to the casting, uh, did you have any choosing in like who should play who or as just being a co-producer or did you kind of- Absolutely, absolutely. We went through, I, I read with everybody in the cast and yeah, I read with everybody in the cast and you know, again, um, yeah. So before I even get to the cast, for you yourself to play Black Jesus, of course we need, uh, you know, something that, hey, we need you with a goatee. You gotta, you know, you gotta get your goatee on. 
uh, we need you in this robe and this wig, and you're gonna be in LA. <laughs> uh, how was was your were you cool with the wig? Were you cool with? Hey, I, I love the look. I'm gonna buy all the way into this whole situation. I'm playing a man. That's yeah. Jesus. Yeah, no facts. That's facts. The fuck. Was it hot? <laughs> it was hot as fuck. Say, was it hot? <laughs> it was hot as fuck. <laughs> but I definitely had fun with it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, Jesus shit laid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Burn yeah. down to the out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I get it, you know. I get it. I, so, so let's go down the cast list, man, because um, and I gotta say it because, you know, rest in peace, uh, first and foremost to Charlie Murphy as we get started. Um for him to yeah, for real. And Charlie Murphy and John Witherspoon. And John Witherspoon, right. yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go through it because you have you have some some heavy hitters on there to get. You know, coming off of Dave Chappelle, Charlie Murphy to agree to play this character of Vic. How much of a win was that like for man, Charlie? Man, that was man. I, I hit the jackpot, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that was that was all Aaron. That wasn't. I had no relationship with Charlie, nor did. Actually, I'm gonna give you. Hmm, I'm gonna keep that to myself. But yeah, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie was there before me. I'll say that Charlie was there before me. That's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? He was a, he was he was already in the equation before I was. Yeah. So was yeah. he was he supposed to play Vic or someone else, Lloyd or? He was supposed to play somebody else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. So how? But how was it though? I um, mean, from what I heard, from what okay. I heard, I may be wrong, but I heard that you know, hey, yeah, Charlie was gonna do that. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, okay. How was it uh, working with the late great Charlie Murphy, man? Man, it was awesome. Like, even when the camera's cut, like, how, you know, just... Man, it was awesome, dog. I'm a fan just like you. I'm a fan <laughs> like anybody else, man. It's like, I say, I got ta- I got taken from... I, I wasn't even on the, the, the park. I ain't even at the park playing ball. I'm in the bleachers smoking weed. And then, then Kobe said, hey, come play with me. I ain't even playing on the park right now, bro. I'm blowing this joint. You know what I'm saying? And Kobe say, come play with you. That, that, that's what it's like. Like, whoa, are you sure you want me? All right. So, you know, to, to, to get to play with Kobe and you ain't even, you ain't even, uh, you know. Um, season one is 2014. Season two is shot in 20, uh, comes out in 2015. Season one is 2019. It's come, coming out. Season three. Season three. I'm sorry. I apologize. 2018, 2019. 2018, 2019. Um, and of course, we lose uh, Charlie Murphy again, rest in peace, in 2017 due to the leukemia. Um, was that a delay? And was that delay due to the loss of Charlie Murphy as far as should season three even happen? Or what What was that? Don't give me the line, man. I, I, I'm sure Charlie's uh, untimely passing definitely was was had a lot to do with it. However, I won't leave it all to that. Mm. I don't I don't know what goes on in the boardrooms. I don't know what they doing in there. Mm. You know, so I'm speculating just like you. Okay, okay. So then I must take it to uh the late great John Witherspoon. Uh everyone, you know, again, you come up in LA Friday, you know, every I mean John Witherspoon, he's been popping. For the young group, they know him starting probably in 96, 95, 96 with Friday. And, uh, of course, John Witherspoon is one of the greats in this comedy game. To get him to agree to play the 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 bum, Lloyd, <laughs> like, how much of a win was that <laughs> to get him to, to agree to play this role? Man, I, hey, man, it's like, you win a lotto, man, <laughs> twice, yeah, like right. double whammy. You, you win mega millions, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I, I had like an a, 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 a all-star ensemble over there, man. man. Just like an amazing group of people, man. An iconic group of people, man. And I'm so thankful to be a part of that, man, because they could have got anybody, dog. But for whatever reason, God saw fit for me to do it. And do that again... It 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 doesn't go past me, you know. My cultural impact, or, or I'll say the the my it doesn't get past me the things that you know the things I've done that that's made an impact on the culture. Right? That doesn't go past me at all, and and it's it's definitely awesome. It's definitely, definitely awesome uh, to have a cast like Charlie, John Witherspoon, Corey Holcomb, King Bach. You got all these guys. Just when it comes to when the cameras say cut, is it just as funny as or let me just say the outtakes? 
The shit yeah, that don't, the shit that people don't see. They could have ran them cameras all day, man. <laughs> we could, we could have. If you would have ran the cameras the whole season one through, you would have had about four seasons out of season <laughs> one. We, <laughs> we had a lot of fun, man. You know, again, Corey, Corey's the life of the party, man. man. I love Corey, man. Corey definitely is, you know, one of the craziest motherfuckers, man. And, and, and Charlie, you know, I got so much game from Charlie and John. Man, it was man. Did, did they contain shit? Yeah, did they contain Corey? Because normally his comedy, I know if they just let him go, that nigga probably. Go. I'm I'm sure I don't I'm, I'm sure that I don't want to say they contain Corey. They they let Corey do what Corey does in within that space, and I think Corey did that well. Okay. You know, Corey can definitely push the envelope, but they gave him a pretty good space to work with, in my opinion. You know, and Corey definitely pushed the envelope. Corey, uh, Corey, one of the funniest comedians in the game, man. He's definitely in my top five and a good friend of mine, man. I really uh, appreciate Corey and thank you for working on Black Jesus, man. That dude was funny as fuck. Definitely. With a cast like that, um, again, I know you say you're not in the rooms. Black Jesus has, th- has three seasons. Um why does it stop? Because it's on Adult Swim. I guess it comes on late. Um, do you do you feel personally that uh, something could have been done differently? Whether marketing, promotion, absolutely. So a whole lot of shit could have been done different. If you don't mind, because it's not here no more. But go go. A, a whole lot of shit could have been done different. I can't put my finger on what could have been uh, done different. But it's a lot of shit could have been done different. And again. You know, I don't know what that what those were what those decisions were or why those decisions were made. But yeah, there was a lot of shit that could have been done. If you ask me, we could have kept going. Um, you know, God bless my good friend Soul John and Charlie. God bless their souls, man. They're irreplaceable as human beings. You know, and I, but I still think we could have went somewhere. Got different. Got different uh, uh, antagonists. You know, they, they don't have to be a hating ass landlord. It could have been a cop. It could have been uh, anybody, you know. It could have been, you know, in 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 films and stories, you know, you got your antagonist and your protagonist, and we lost our antagonist in John and 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 Charlie, and I feel like you know nobody would ever replace them, but I think we could have found some different type of people for you know saying to be hating on Jesus. Like you said, uh, you're in the Bible Belt right now. You know, got the whole situation down here. Do you feel like there was some backlash over the show? And did, you, really, did you feel it? This is really a Bible Belt, and I don't really. I think they loved it more here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we get representation. It it. I think they we get representation. It. Yeah, I mean, I, I read about backlash and, uh, on. You know, I never encountered any. No, nobody's ever come and tell me like, "Hey, f that show." I, I had a couple people say, "Well, I couldn't watch that." You know, I ain't gonna lie and say that. <laughs> I had a couple people, literally, maybe a couple of them, I could count on one hand probably how many people say, oh, I couldn't watch that, or my moms couldn't watch it. And I can count on all our hands in here how many people told me, well, I wasn't fucking with it until I seen it, and then, whoa. You know, or or I have so many stories about people telling me how they have relatives or loved ones who didn't want to watch the show, but once they watched it, you know, they got it. And I'm just so thankful for the people that got it. You got to get past, again, I liken it to Charleston White in that regard. Once you get past the brash, the message, or 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 whatever, how that sound. What's up? Yeah, what, what's up? What's up? What's up, pimp? These niggas in here holding me hostage, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These niggas in here, nigga. These <laughs> niggas ain't smoking nothing. We got these niggas, <laughs> nigga, come in here with the weed, huh? And hold it. These niggas ain't smoking nothing. Where you at, nigga? Let the nigga in. Let my nigga in. Where you at, my nigga? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Like um, three stars, bitch. Shit, you know. <laughs> Come on, yeah, not for. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, how was it working? You with all the Friday cast. How was it working with Don DC Curry? How bringing him in? Man, nigga, uh, legendary man. Look, Don DC Curry, man, another cat, man. It, it's 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 the roster. The bro- we had so many uh, amazing cameos and features in Black Jesus, man. Again, Don DC Curry, uh, 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 um, Mark Curry, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Fred, uh, what's my man, the white man, Fred? I forget his name. God bless me. I forget. Oh, he was, he was the, the landlord, man. Yeah, the landlord. Go. Um, I know uh, you had Coolio for an episode. Coolio, man. Man, um, we had so many amazing people. Uh, what Bernadette, Ashley Larry? What's the name? Uh, 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 uh Donnell Rollins. Yeah, Donnell Bernadette Rollins Stannis. came through. Uh, Bernadette yeah. Stannis. Yeah. yeah, we had amazing people on that show, man. Was there somebody that you wanted to have a cameo that you could have, if, if a dream? Ooh, we, we could get him in on just an episode or two. If anyone, uh, uh, <laughs> I can't. Even. We got my man Short. Short was. I think we got Short on there. Short got a cameo. Yeah, yeah. Probably Scarface, man. So oh, that's Scarface. Be, that's uh, my nigga, man. Mr. Oh, yeah, Mr. Scarface. On, that's H Town for that's Texas all the way. That's Texas all the way. Um, I want to give a shout out to King Bach, man, because you know he's a guy who was coming up on, up on the YouTube game as well. And that nigga can't batch on, batch on top. He been on top. Yeah, he been that on nigga, top. That nigga, he's he's a, 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 a internet superstar. You know, batch been batch. You know, batch been, He turned me on the vine. You know what I mean? He was, <laughs> I remember when he was coming up. Uh, he, batch been on. Shout out to batch, man. That's my guy. Nah, and bro. Andre Fuller, fish. What's up, fish? Come Shout out now. to my boy Andre Fuller, aka Fish. And little known fact, my boy DeAndre Bonds actually. Red for fish, and he actually he was actually fish in the pilot, but due to some things he had going on in his personal life, he wasn't able to continue. But yeah, wow, wow. All right, so let me ask you, uh, what's your uh, relationship with Aaron Magruder right now, man? How, how, are y'all in, still in communication to just even do? I just recently talked to Aaron, probably about four months ago. We don't talk much. I actually, prior to talking to him a few months ago, the last time I actually spoke to him was at John's funeral. Oh, definitely. And so, you know, um, so no, I don't really talk to him that much, but just, you know, it's funny you say that I just happened to about four months ago. You know? Definitely, definitely. All right, so I, I got I got to play something real quick. I got to get, I got to get, uh, yeah, just from your standpoint, and it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, based on one of the episode titles, you know, what the F will black Jesus do? So I, I, I'm, I'm going to paint a couple of scenarios for you, and I got to get your take on it. What will black Jesus do? What will black Jesus do? Oh, okay. All right. Not so, slink. Yeah, yeah. Not slink. <laughs> Not slink. This Not is slink. strictly, strictly what, black Jesus. what the All F right. would black Jesus what do? What the F would black Jesus do? Um, Something happened. It's going viral right now to where a young lady invites a friend that she's just messing around with out on a trip to Mexico. She pays $3,500 for his, for his ticket. She pays for the room and everything. As they get down there, surprise, she has another friend pop up, a female friend, because she wants to have a threesome. Now the dude gets upset and he's like, hell nah, you know, I didn't, I didn't plan for this. I, I'm not like that. I don't get down like that. And he wants to now leave. And he's like, I can't, you know, even as a friend, I can't, I can't get down with this. I feel disrespected that you would bring a, a random fine female here to have this threesome. <laughs> In that scenario, what the what the f will Black Jesus do in that scenario? What would Black Jesus do in that scenario? He would, if he was flown out, if Jesus was one flown out. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm sure um, Jesus would be more. Jesus would be more than happy that the lady invited an un an unexpected friend, because Jesus loves to minister, and he have more people to minister to. The more the merry. They say when two or more are gathered in his name. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Jesus would just love that. He would love, it, it wouldn't necessarily be physical intercourse, it'll be spiritual intercourse. There you and go. He'd love that. He'd there love you that. go. Exactly. That's what I said. Um, so, second scenario. Now, he now I did say Jesus would minister to them. Yeah, minister, yeah. Don't get no. now, you freaks out there, don't get you get your own connotations. Come on I now. said minister. Cut that off, man. Come on now. I said minister. So Let's say uh, Black Jesus invites his family out to Disneyland and his his wife, his Mary Mag, you know, whatever, uh, gets in an argument where therefore she don't want to go to Disneyland no more. She she like, I don't want to go. So he calls his, you know, other friend to say, hey, there's a spot open. You go, you come on, you bring your child. Let's go to Disneyland. And then at that time, get into the airport, both the friend of Black Jesus and mm. his his current relationship, they both get there and he's like, well, now we're in a situation we got a conundrum. 
we either both y'all coming, one got to stay home, and let's just say he does bring both on the plane and it lands. What does Black Jesus do in that moment? What the f will Black Jesus do? Once again, Black Jesus would love the moment and he would appreciate that the family has come together. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what I brought you here for a reason. You might not always understand, but I got a reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know, you might have to bring the families together. It is what it is. I saw that little situation <laughs> and I really believe that, you know what I'm saying? Both of those people in that situation were aware of what's going on. They just hate to face the the the, the, the truth. Oh, the ugly truth. So, you know, hey, <sighs> it is what it is. Uh, <sighs> Ah, uh, yeah, man. This is the world we live in. It's the world. You know, Jesus will love and have them there so he can minister to them all. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Come on now. Come on now. So, so let me ask you, uh, uh, before we get to your comedy bag, even while you're in Dallas right now, um, you have a role in Sharknado? Yeah. Part three. Sharknado three. Yeah. Oh, hell no. No, hell uh, no. Just, what are your thoughts on the show? Again, uh, hey, a job is a job. And we're gonna get to it. But what are your thoughts on the Sharknado series? Hey, man, it's, hey, it's, it's something for everybody. They like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just thankful that they, that, you know, that they found a uh, room for me in that world. You know what I'm mm. saying? They like it. Yeah, that's dope. You know, it's huge. Sharknado's huge. I had it's, a great time working on it, man. It's, it's a huge thing. Hey, man, I don't know. I, I don't wanna sound bored or nothing, but I just ain't really for the just, hey, what's for you? Hey, some things ain't for me. You know yeah, what I'm right, right, right. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I know it's a huge, great series, and I enjoy working on it. I wasn't real well versed on it. I had never really watched a lot of Sharknado movies, but I'm thankful that they let me in on it. Hey, some things ain't for me, but hey, you, you like it, I love it. There you go. Knock um, yourself out. Now, you also are part of the hit series, or that soon to be hit series, uh, Good Times. They brought that back. How was it? They didn't bring it back. Well, yeah, uh, they rebooted it. They it rebooted like, it. That's yeah. the problem. See, people, people, it's, it's, yeah. in the, it's in the wording. They didn't bring it back. It's, it's a reboot of, but they didn't bring it back. Okay, so tell us how that worked out as far as even them approaching you to say, we want you in on good times. Hey, man, my good friend Janine Daniels dropped okay. the word to Renata Shepard and Devon Shepard, and they heard her, and they, they called me down, you know what I mean, and say, we got something for you, man. We want you to you know, read for the part of this baby. That's just very. That was dope. You know, again, most of my most of most of my work has come through relationships. To be honest with you, to be absolutely right. honest with you, it's come through relationships, knowing people and being good with people. Man, you got to be good with people. You know what I'm saying? Watch what you say about people. Watch how you deal with people and be genuine with people. Because, uh, you know, shit, man, that should take you a long way, man. You know, and I think, you know, I just try to be a good person with people. You know what I mean? So let me ask you then, because, you know, again, you have one of the most iconic uh, voices, even coming on uh, for Bebe's Kids. Uh, you know, you have a, a voice that's kind of similar to Tone Loke, kind of similar. Mm -hmm. to, I'll take that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, nah, and Tone Loke, he did one of the he did his big one with Bebe's Kids when he when that first came out uh, for you to even channel that in good times. Did you? <laughs> Was 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 Tone Loke an inspiration to me? Not, not at all. Okay, okay. Not not at all. I but I will I will accept the comparison. I appreciate it. I welcome it. It's dope. He wasn't the inspiration for me as in regards to I didn't even give it no thought. Mm. I didn't I don't you know, I, I remember Bebe's kids, but I don't correlate it with nothing that I've done. I didn't even think about it when I was doing it. But I guess when when that show when good times came out, people will draw the comparison. So yeah, that's dope. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Um, now speaking of reboots and remakes, uh, white man can't jump. <laughs> Calmatic, <laughs> yeah, come on what's now. up, Calmatic? Come on now. Uh, first of all, do, do you again outside of you know it's just a job, but outside of that, do you feel like White Man Can't Jump is a movie that needed to be brought into the current world of things? Uh, that the world. Because back then, you know, this is the early 90s. That's back yeah, when... I, I do believe it was needed. Go I ahead. do believe it was needed. It was. I do believe it was needed. And it, it was, the reason it was needed, it might be, it's always different, you know, because sometimes these reboots and remakes create new stars. That's fact. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes that might be the... The reason, you know, although we, you know, we don't always see it like that. But White Men Can't Jump was a dope movie. I had fun doing that and I liked the movie. It was no, dope. Man. It was a great movie. Do you lean the same way when it comes to um, Space Jam Legacy? As yeah. far as 
Yeah. You have the you have Michael Jordan. And honestly, Space Jam Legacy makes a lot of sense for Michael Jordan to do his thing back in the 90s and LeBron to bring it back. Uh, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, it, you know, and it ain't, ain't nothing new under the sun. You know, a lot of people, we, we shitting on remakes and stuff now. Oh, you know, but we was remaking shit too. <laughs> so, you know, they... You know, and it, it ain't even a remake, really, man. It's just a mm. reboot, man. Just enjoy the shit. People be too critical, man. It's just it's the internet. Like it's it, the, it's the internet. If you don't <laughs> like it, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> just don't like it, bro. It's all good. It's, it's just, all good. But you know, again, I enjoyed it, man. And 